Now, Susan, Phil, once this bill goes into effect on January 1st, investigations involving officer shootings, confirmed cases of sexual assault and other investigations will be made open to the public. Now, the goal of this go bill is to provide transparency, accountability and build trust. But some civil rights activists feel Inglewood City Council is working against this goal. Here's why. Earlier this month in Inglewood City Council approved the action to destroy more than 100 police shooting and other investigation records. All of this just weeks before the new state law could allow the public to access these records. Under the law, California police departments have to hold on to records for a five year period. Inglewood Mayor James Butts tells us that the decision to throw out these old records has nothing to do with hiding any wrongdoing among the council or police department, which has come under fire in recent years for a reputation of excessive force and secrecy, secrecy including shootings of four men in 2008, three of whom were unarmed. These, rec these records were sitting in a storehouse, um, just gathering dust, taking up space. Actually, so, actually, some went back as far as 1991. So how come, they, that means that since 91, they've been just sitting there collecting dust. What was the urgency? Because when, when the department went through and looked at our, looked at our records, this, we were coming to years in, and they looked at the records that we had, someone saw these sitting in a, in a storehouse and put them on the record schedule. Now, come, coming up tonight at 10, you'll hear from one of those activists who's against this decision, Earl Ofari Hutchinson, who says another problem with this vote is that we don't know what the police officers did and how the cases were resolved. And again, he says it's going against building public trust. You'll hear from him tonight. And according to LA Times, no audio or video of this meeting where this decision was made was recorded. Mayor Butt says that's not true. It was on the agenda and it was held in a public meeting. It's unclear whether or not these records have been destroyed just yet. I'll send it back to you in the studio. We're reporting live from Inglewood. Leah Uko, Fox 11 News.